Hi there and welcome back to my channel. We are in the month of June, so that means we are painting June's birth month flower, which is the rose. So here I am sketching it out. I'm using unsplash.com and I am sketching this out. I also have a, a live reference, but um, if you wanna follow along and paint in the lines, I have the outline here. You can download that below. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sketch it out in pencil first, then I'm gonna use this Micron pen and I will link down below which size I'm using, but I'm just going to outline what I have traced out in pencil. And here I'm just looking at the reference just to alter it if I wanna change anything or, you know, I have a rough sketch, but if I wanna go back in and look at a real rose and sort of follow along those guidelines, that's what I did here. And I'm just going to outline the entire thing and I'm gonna speed it up a little so you don't have to watch the entire thing, but this is basically how I decided to trace this out. Um, here I have the leaves. I'm actually using them as a reference to see where the lines are and how the edges are, have those little jagged edges there. So just going in with the Micron and then I'm going to erase all the pencil and I'm gonna make sure to brush it all away so that it doesn't get stuck in the watercolor. Then I'm going to mix up my shade. So I'm just using some pink, some magentas. I'm gonna add in a little bit of white to get that milky pinky color, it's so pretty. Because if you look at my reference, it is a darker fuchsia pink with like lighter pinky milkiness in it. <laughs> so um, then I'm just gonna go in and paint the center a little darker. I'm gonna try to stay in the lines. You don't have to because once it dries, it is gonna be a little bit translucent and you still will see the black. So I'm just going in a little bit darker towards the center and then as I go out, I'm gonna add more water to my brush and I'm just gonna keep on pulling the pigment out towards the outer edges of the flower. And again, I'm just gonna add more water and you're not gonna to have to worry about those lines being covered up because watercolor is pretty translucent. So as you can see, I've added more water and I'm pulling it out. Still trying to stay in the lines, but you can still see the lines through. And as it's still wet, I'm going to add a little bit more pigment and create some bleeds. So right now I'm adding all this, all the petals are gonna be covered in a light pink wash. And then I'm going to tap a dark pink right on the edges of those petals. So I'm just gonna repeat this all the way around the rows. And you see some I've left out, I will go back to them later, or you can do them all at once. But as it dries, you're not gonna be able to let them bleed. So I do a few and then I go back in just so they don't dry fully. Um, usually this is like a sort of wet on wet technique. You can do it wet on damp, but it's not gonna give you that full bleed. So I'm just gonna tap each of the petals. I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the entirety of what I have already put a wash on. And here's a little bit of a close up. So here I am, I'm putting down the wash and then I'm gonna go back in once I get the exact wetness. So there's another petal that hasn't been touched yet. I'm gonna add water to it and then I'm going to take a darker pigment and I'm gonna just tap on the edges. And it's gonna give you some really beautiful bleeds. And you're not gonna really see until it dries, but right now it's just, it looks so pretty and I just love that you can't control it. So I'm just gonna go around and do this process and I'm not gonna make you watch it in slow. <laughs> so just gonna go around, add the taps, let, drop them in and let them do their thing. And we're just going to do that the entirety of the petal. Just adding more pigment, letting it flow. And then once it dries, it's not going to be as dark, so you're going to be able to go back in and add more pigment on top. It looks really dark right now and out of control, but as it dries, it bleeds out and it just like has this beautiful organic look. So I'm going back in, adding a little darker on the pigment, dragging it up the petal. And now that it's dried a bit in the center, I'm gonna go back in with some more pink pigment and pull out some shadows. So this is really how you just deepen it. You can work in layers in watercolor. 
if your paper allows. This paper is allowing me to create multiple layers and I'm just going to go and outline the outer petals to define them more, which is what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to speed it up and we're going to just like tap and blend when you're when it's dry. You can put like a wash and sort of blend it out. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm putting it on the tip and sort of blending it a little bit out inward toward the center. And then now I have my stem and I just love using an actual reference because it's not just a green stem on roses, it's like a greenish red. So I'm gonna make some darker green with some touches of reds and that's gonna give you like sort of a brownish color without you. So now that I've mixed up that color, I'm going to use a smaller brush so that I can fit within the lines of the stem and I'm gonna paint the entirety in one color. And I'm using a pretty pigmented amount, so I'm not mixing it with a lot of water because as you can tell from the reference that's there, it is pretty solid in that greenish, brownish, reddish color. So I'm just going to do that the entire stem and I will probably leave out, I don't know, I'll probably leave out the little stems that attach the leaves and add a little bit more green because those leaves are really like a deep green. And I'm just going to like, honestly just put a use the bigger brush and just drag the pigment into the center of the brush and if this was more of like a free looser tutorial I wouldn't worry so much but I am sort of like drawing in the lines so I'm using the bigger brush to get more pigment on quicker and then I'm going to go back in with my smaller brush and just get those little edges there and again you can always go over in the end with like the ink and we're gonna put some highlights in it but here's another way to add some bleeds just drop in some more of a darker brown color and just add some pretty bleeds in there and then I'm just gonna do that on each of the leaves the same process um, just try to pull like a lighter green from the stems so that they're a little bit different because as you can see from the stem right there like the stems coming off they aren't as brown they do have more green in them so I am definitely adding more green to the stems and the leaves and then I'm gonna go back in and just do any final touches so again once it dries it's hard to tell until it dries if it's gonna be dark enough so I wanted it to be a little bit darker on the edges just like the roses so I went back in with my smaller brush and I really finely just outlined those edges of each petal. And then I use some clean water and I sort of blended down the petal again. And this is just another way of layering. You don't have to do this. You could leave it a little bit looser like in the beginning, but I just really wanted it to be all tied together. And then I'm just, again, once that dried, I'm gonna go in and do some more fine tuning um, just see if any of the lines need some fixing up and then I'm going to add my details within the leaves so I'm using that darker brownish green and I'm making the lines of the leaves and I'm really accentuating the tips of the leaf there also and this is sort of like more of a loose but tied together approach so I'm just kind of giving the illusion of the lines there and then I'm going to go back in with some highlighting, which you will see shortly. But yeah, I'm just going to repeat that process through each leaf. And just add the lines, go back over them, see what looks nice. And then I'm going to take some white gouache and I'm going to pull some highlights out. So you just mix that with water and then I'm just going to literally put this any spots that I really want to pull. So this is going to dry like a cool, like sort of like not cartoony, but less realistic, but I just love to pull the whites out like this. This is just what I imagined in my head, this style. So I'm just putting highlights and this will dry a little less white, but it's still going to pull highlights from the leaves. And then I'm really just going to do that along the entirety of of the rows some I will leave blank some I will add lines and I'm just gonna just go with it 
feel free to put them wherever you want. It does not have to be the same as mine. Just really, like, feel what feels right. Like, I don't know if I wanted to put on the tip, so I kind of just put some lines in there, give it illusion of highlights and just the detail of the rose petal. And we're just going to do that the entirety of the rose. Go around the whole thing. Yeah, I felt like putting one there, some little dots. I always love adding dots. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the leaves. I'm just going to go down the centers and pull out some highlights of the little lines, like where it would be in between the green. And again, it is not perfect. This is more of like a loose, sort of not so realistic, but not so loose. <laughs> so it's just a fun style. I like to put some highlight on the. But there you have it. You are done. So with just a few colors of paint and the free downloadable sketch that's in this description, you can paint this rose for yourself. And I also have a free downloadable piece that I made featuring all of the birth month flowers. You can find that in the description as well. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe because I will be uploading a new birth flower each month. So let me know what your birth flower is in the comments below and I will see you next time.